Hey guys, welcome back to the Toy Notes studio with me, Kelsey. Today I am actually really interested and excited to play with this toy. It's the Scientific Explorer Make Your Own Perfumery. So we're gonna make our own perfume today and learn a little bit about how chemicals work when you do make perfume and a little bit about that world. This kit is recommended for eight and older, it looks like. So it says eight and older right here. And I think it comes with everything you need, although on the side, it doesn't really say. It talks about all the different um, cautions if you're sensitive to perfumes or scents, where a toy like this might be a problem. But we won't know what's inside it until we get it open. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so it was as simple as peeling a piece of tape off the top and pulling out this whole insert, which is really nice. It's got some pipettes in it, and I've got a couple that fell out in the box, but that'll make it easy for getting just the right amount of, of the scent you want out. We've got some little beakers or little test tubes and then some scents. Um, let's see, there's just number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. I thought it would say what they are. Maybe when we get, maybe when we pull it out of here it will. Hmm. It doesn't say what they are, so you'll have to smell them in order to find out. Now we have our activity guide. Let's see, is there anything? Oh, right there. So let's see, number one is apple. Number two is heliotrope. Number three is jasmine. Number four, lily of the valley. And number five is peppermint. Now, there's a spot to make your own special formulas or there's two suggested recipes. Cleopatra's scent, which includes the jasmine, lily of the valley, heliotrope, and apple. Or Napoleon scented gloves, where we use peppermint, apple, lily of the valley, and heliotrope. Well, cool, so then aromatherapy, it talks about how scents can affect your feelings. And then everything else is kind of in a different language. So you're really only gonna use the first page and a half. Everything we need is supposed to be in here. It doesn't look like there's any additional lists of things to provide. So without further ado, come on in. Let's go ahead and make our own perfume. All right, so let's make our own perfume. For the sake of trying it, I kinda of wanna try this Napoleon's scented gloves. I'll show you guys. The recipe, it is on this side here, Napoleon scented gloves. So there are five of these vials in the whole package. I've just got one here for today's perfume and one of the pipettes. So in order to do this one, we're gonna have to have peppermint, which is number five. And we have to do 25 drops of peppermint. little cap off here. Oh, and there's a foil top too. All right, I'm gonna have to probably puncture it so I don't have very good fingernails right now. Okay. Hmm, smells very pepperminty. So we're gonna do 25 drops. One, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. Put the rest in there. Perfect. So you'd see our little scent in the bottom. Now, the next one is number one, which is apple. 
and we just need four drops of that. So I'm gonna puncture the top of it. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and two more ingredients. We need number four, which is Lily of the Valley, and just three drops of this. Again, just puncturing. I'm just putting little holes in the top, just big enough for my pipette to get in, because I don't want it to be a mess. So one, two, three. Three drops there. And Heliotrope, which is number three, it's that one here. And this is just three drops as well. It smells good. Everything's really lightly scented. It's not super heavy, so it's not gonna be really powerful. One, two, and three. Okay, so now we're just going to take and kind of mix up our kit and give it a smell. Mmm, it smells pepperminty. Let's see. A little bit of here. <laughs> Okay, so I get it, Napoleon's scented glove. It's definitely pepperminty with just a hint of floweriness. And it just makes a little teeny tiny bit. So you can see how much it makes. If you wanted, like if you loved this scent and you wanted a full jar of it, you've obviously got plenty of this. You would just expand the recipe and keep the ratios. Well guys, I had fun making my very own Napoleon's Gloves perfume with you guys. Um, I think this set is really cool actually. It comes with everything you need. It's pretty simple to follow along. And the scents are actually really nice. I thought they might be kind of overpowering, but they ended up being very light and airy and not at all too strong. So I give this one two thumbs up. So if you guys want to be here for more hands-on play, top 2017 toy trends, and all things awesome in the toy world, you have to hit the subscribe button now and keep up to date with ToyNotes.com, where I'm keeping up on all the best sellers coming for the 2017 year. And until next time, guys, bye.